みなさんこんにちは。Welcome back to 日本語。このビデオではレッスン39番の文法を紹介します。でもその前にレッスン38番の文法を復習しましょう。So, in lesson 38, we've learned about nominalizer. Specifically, we've learned how to use particle no as a nominalizer. Nominalizers are used to change a verb into a noun. So, here are some examples. バレーボールするのは難しいです。私は花を育てるのが好きです。ドアの鍵をかけるのを忘れました。先生が入院しているのを知ってますか娘が生まれたのは北海道の小さな町です。Also, we've learned about 何々とき followed by different particles. For example, 生まれた時からずっとニューヨークに住んでいます。はい、大丈夫ですかそれでは、レッスン39番の文法を勉強しましょう。In this lesson, we will learn about different ways to give reasons or cause, followed by its result, effect, or conclusion. But before we begin, make sure to check out the vocabulary list for this lesson. Here are the grammar points for today's lesson. The first pattern we will learn is giving reason followed by the result or the conclusion. We've learned in previous lessons using kara when giving reasons, but this time we will learn another way of giving reason using the te form of the verb or the adjectives. So, this pattern means because sentence one, then sentence two, or the conclusion or the result is sentence two. So, in Japanese, the reason comes first, followed by the、uh, effect or the result or the conclusion. In English, it doesn't matter where the reason is, it might be in the beginning or at the end of the sentence. Okay, the difference between this pattern and using kara is that. For this, sentence two must not contain volition. So when we say volition,、um, volitional sentences, it means that it expresses will, I will do something, orders, or when you tell someone to do something, invitation or request. So these are all volitional sentences. So if the sentence two does not contain this, you can use this pattern. Otherwise, use kara. So, what are the examples of these sentences? So, when sentence two is a verb or adjective that e x p r e s s feelings, for example, bikuri suru, to be surprised, anshin suru, to be relieved, komaru, to be in trouble, and etc. One example, I was surprised to hear the earthquake news or to hear the news about the earthquake. Our verb is Kikimashita to hear or heard the news. Gishin no newso wo. So our verb kikimashita becomes kite. So it doesn't matter what the tense is, you will change it to its te form. So kikimashita or kikimas becomes kite, followed by the conclusion, which is I was surprised. So when the Speaker heard the news, he was surprised. Bikuri shimashita. Yishin no news wo kite bikuri shimashita. Another example I'm sad because I can't meet my friends. Our verb is to be able to meet or aimasen, or in this case, not able or can't meet, so aimasen. Tomodachi ga. Verb in nai form. Nai form. So remove i followed by kute. Okay? Verb na kute. So it's ae na kute. Tomodachi ga ae na kute. Sabishi des. Tomodachi ga ae na kute. Sabishi des. I'm sad because I can't meet my friends. Next is using adjectives. 
So for e adjectives, we remove e followed by kute and then the conclusion. For na adjectives, we add de. Sentence two can be potential. Potential meaning to express ability and verbs that express states. For example, I can't read the newspaper because there are a lot of difficult kanji. So the reason is there are a lot of difficult kanji. And the result is I can't read the newspaper. So let's state the reason first. Our adjective is oi. A lot. So, e adjective. Mozukashi kanji ga okute. So, oi, remove e, add kute. Okute. Mozukashi kanji ga okute. The result is shimbun ga yomemasen. Not be able to read or can't read. Muzukashi kanji ga okute shinbun ga yomemasen. So this is a potential verb or a negative potential verb. Next example. I can't understand it at all because the explanation is complicated. So the reason is the explanation is complicated and the result is that I can't understand it at all. So let's state the reason first. Our adjective is complicated, fukuzatsu. So here we have a na adjective. Setsumei ga fukuzatsu de. So the explanation is complicated. Setsumei ga fukuzatsu de. Zenzen wakarimasen. Setsumei ga fukuzatsu de. Zenzen wakarimasen. We can also use this pattern when sentence 2 is a situation in the past or already happened. For example, there was an accident, so the train was delayed. So the reason is there's an accident and the result is the train was delayed. So it's in the past. So we use the verb jiko ga arimashita. Was, there was an accident. Jiko ga atte. The form followed by densha ga okurete shimaimashita. So the tense will be determined by the second sentence. So here, arimashita becomes atte and the past tense is determined or is written in the second sentence. Jiko ga atte, densha ga okurete shimaimashita. Another example, I didn't bring my homework. So the result is I was scolded by my teacher. Verb is shukudai o motte kimasen deshita. Shukudai o motte konakte. So, kimasen deshita becomes konai, nai form. Remove i, add kute. Konakte, sensei ni. Shikarare mashita, scolded by the teacher or by my teacher. Shukudai o motte konakte, sensei ni shikarare mashita. Like I said, sentence 2 must not contain volition in this pattern. If the sentence 2 contains volition, you must use kara. For example, it is dangerous. So the reason is, it's dangerous. And the sentence two is, please do not touch the machine. So here we have an order, giving an order or a request. So we cannot say, abuna kute or abunai becomes abunakute, kikai ni sawaranai de kudasai. Instead, we use kara. Abunai desu kara, kikai o sawaranai de kudasai. Abunai desu kara, kikai o sawaranai de kudasai. Another example, the train was delayed. So the reason is the train was delayed. The second sentence is, so can you wait for me? So this is also a request. We cannot say, densha ga okurete, matte kureru. Instead, we say, 
電車が遅れましたから待ってくれる電車が遅れましたから待ってくれる Also, in this pattern, the first part or the first sentence and the second part or the second sentence should be a sequential event, meaning that sentence one happens first and then sentence two will happen next. Otherwise, we use tara. So, for example, the sentence is The meeting will be held tomorrow, so we have to make preparations for today. So, the first sentence or the reason is, Ashta kaegi ga atte kyo junbi しなければなりません So, this is not okay because the first sentence or sentence one will happen tomorrow. And then sentence two will happen today. So, S1 should come first before S2. So, that's why we cannot use te here. Instead, we use から。明日会議がありますから、今日準備しなければなりません。明日会議がありますから、今日準備しなければなりません。Next pattern is noun で、and then our sentence. So, it means because of, so our noun could be a natural phenomena, happenings, events, and so on. So again, sentence or the predicate must not contain volition. So again, sentence two or the main sentence must not contain will, orders, invitation, or request. For example, because of the fire, the house was burned down. Our noun is fire. Kaji de, because of the fire, ie ga yakemashita. Here we are using an intransitive verb, yakemas, or be burned down. Another example because of the earthquake, a building collapsed. Jishin de, so jishin is earthquake. Because of the earthquake, biru ga taoremashita. So the verb is taoremas, meaning something falls down or collapse. So again, this is also an intransitive verb. Jishin de biru ga taoremashita. Because of the typhoon, bullet trains have stopped. Taifu de shinkansen ga tomarimashita. Tomarimas is also an intransitive verb. Another example, because of illness, I was not able to go on a trip. So here we have a negative potential verb. Biyoki de ryoko ni ikemasen deshita. Biyoki de so this is a negative potential verb, so it's okay. Because of illness, I took a day off work. This is okay because it's in the past. 病気で会社を休みました。病気で会社を休みました。Again, this is okay because sentence two already happened in the past. Because of illness, I want to take a day off work tomorrow. Because of illness, I want to take a day off work tomorrow. So here s our sentence is a volitional sentence or it expresses will or want. So we cannot say, Biyoki de ashita kaisha o yasumitai desu. Instead, we use, Biyoki desu kara. Because, so, から we use から明日会社を休みたいです。病気ですから明日会社を休みたいです。Our next grammar point is using ので when we want to give a reason. So, this is another way of giving reason, just like から
So both kara and node indicates causes and reason. However, kara subjectively gives emphasis on the cause or the reason. And it is also more used in informal situation. So for example, why are you late? Doshite chikoko shimashita ka? Because I'm not feeling well. Kibun ga warui desu kara. Kibun ga warui desu kara. So as you can see, kara can also be used independently without the result. Kibun ga warui desu kara. Because I'm not feeling well. On the other hand, nani nani no de objectively presents a cause and effect relationship as a natural course of events. So the reason will happen and then as a result, this is the conclusion or this is the result. So for verb, we use the plain form followed by no de. For nouns, we add na followed by no de. Now na no de. So it also means because sentence one, so sentence two. For example, I lived in Thailand for two years. That's why I can speak a little Thai. So the reason is I lived in Thailand for two years and the result is I can speak a little Thai. Our verb is sundeimashita in the past. So it already happened. So we use the plain form of sundeimashita. Tai ni ninen sundeita. So sundeimashita, plain form is sundeita, followed by no de. Tai go ga skoshi hanasemas. Tai ni ninen sundeita no de. Tai go ga skoshi hanasemas. Today is my husband's birthday. So, I'll buy a cake and go home. Kyo wa shujin no tanjobi na. So, tanjobi is a noun. So, we add na. Tanjobi na no de. Because it's my husband's birthday. Keiki o katte kairimas. Katte buy and then go home. Kyo wa shujin no tanjobi na no de. Keiki o katte kairimasu. Also, no de softens the tone of the speaker, which is why it is often used to express a reason gently, to ask for permission, or to make an excuse. So again, kara is used for more informal situation, while if you want to be more polite, you use no de. So, kara, informal, no de, formal or polite. For example, I'm not feeling well, so can I leave early? So here the tone of the speaker is very soft. So the speaker is trying to ask a favor gently by giving the reason. I'm not feeling well, so um, can I leave early? Something like that. So we state the reason first. Kibun ga warui no de. So again, just add no de after the e adjective. Kibun ga warui no de. Sotai shite mo ii desu ka? I have to go and get my visa. So, is it okay to take the afternoon off? So here the speaker is asking for permission. Visa o tori ni ikanakereba naranai no de. So the verb is ikanakereba narimasen. So we use plain form, so it becomes ikanakereba naranai. Followed by no de. Visa o tori ni ikanakereba naranai no de. Gogo kara yasunde mo ii desu ka? This baggage is on the way, so could you please put it away? Kono nimotsu wa jama. Jama is a na adjective. Jama na no de katazukete itadakimasen ka? Kono nimotsu wa jama na no de katazukete itadakimasen ka? Another thing to remember is 
if sentence two expresses order or prohibition, like telling someone to do something, nani nani no de is not used, but we use kara instead. For example, don't touch the machine because it's dangerous. The reason is it's dangerous. And the second sentence is a prohibition. So we cannot use no de here. Abunai no de kikai ni sawaru na. So the second sentence is prohibitive. So we cannot use no de. Instead, we use kara. Abunai kara kikai ni sawaru na. Abunai kara kikai ni sawaru na. As you can see, nani nani no de is used with plain form here. But in more polite expressions, it can be used with a polite form. For example, I have something to do. Pardon me for leaving first. In plain form, we say, yoji ga aru no de. So, arimas becomes aru. Yoji ga aru no de. Osaki ni tsurei shimasu. But if we want to be more polite, we can use the polite form or the mas form. Yoji ga arimasu no de. Osaki ni tsurei shimasu. Yoji ga arimasu no de. Osaki ni tsurei shimasu. And lastly, we will learn about tochu de. Tochu de means during or in the midst of something. So for verb, we use the dictionary form followed by tochu de. For nouns, we add no followed by tochu de. So this means during verb or during noun. For example, actually on my way here, there was an accident and the bus was delayed. So here we have a verb. Jitsu wa actually kuru. So kimas becomes kuru because it's in dictionary form. Jitsu wa kuru tochu de jiko ga atte. There was an accident. Basu ga okurete shimattan desu. Jitsu wa kuru tochu de jiko ga atte. Basu ga okurete shimattan desu. Another example using a noun. That building exploded during the marathon. Marathon no tochu de. Marathon no tochu de. During the marathon. Ano biru ga bakuhatsu shita. Ano biru ga bakuhatsu shita or bakuhatsu shimashita. Marathon no tochu de. Ano biru ga bakuhatsu shita. And last example, I felt nauseous during the speech. Again, we have a noun. Speech no tochu de hakige ga shita. Or hakige ga shimashita. Speech no tochu de hakige ga shita. Okay, so to summarize, we use verb de or e adjective in de form or noun followed by de when the second sentence or the conclusion is non-volitional. Otherwise, use kara for volitional sentences. And another one is that both kara and no de means because and they both are used to give reasons. So if you're talking in informal situation, you can use kara. If you want to be more polite, you can use no de. Hai, ijo desu. 今日のレッスンはどうですかもしその他コメントがあったら下に書いてくださいねあとはこのビデオが役に立ったらLikeボタンとSubscribeボタンを押してください don't forget to click the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of the future lessons. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next one. またね